Hello. I want to make a short video about the drama triangle, uh, which you've heard me talk about loads. I think there are so many videos here about the drama triangle. Uh, it was prompted by a call from a mum who um, feels very drawn to rescue when her child is upset. I mean, let's face it, you know, we, we all want to do that. Um, but the trouble is when you do that with a child, it confirms their poor me feeling. So child feels hard done by, maybe the teacher's told them off for something they haven't done. Maybe somebody's picked on them at school. Somebody has been a bit mean and they go into what we call poor me, which is the victim, which is the bottom of the drama triangle. The two power points are rescuer and persecutor. Now, when the child goes into victim, crying, being upset um, and so on, what that does is it draws in the rescuer, who's normally mum. And mum says, oh, poor thing. Oh, dear, dear. You know, hugs and holes and things. Uh, because that's what we do, isn't it, as mums? But then we have a persecutor, um, also a power position, can often be dad or can be a sibling, an older sibling saying, oh, God, he's not making a fuss again, is he? Or um, dad says, you know, he's got to man up or she's got to learn, you know. He's not a baby anymore. They've got to get to it, find some strategies, you know, get some options, some choices, you know, sort this out, change, whatever. Rescuer goes, oh, don't be so mean. Persecutor says, I'm not being mean. I just think that this is the better way. Victim goes, oh, poor me, now they're fighting over me. It's all my fault. I'm useless. And so here we have this drama triangle developing. I am dramatising it somewhat to make the point, but you may recognise um, yourself in this position. I think it's a really good idea to use tapping at this point because rescue has to step away. You know, you love your child, but this is not the best solution to rescue them. So you, there are two things you can do. One is you have to um, encourage your victim child to be a problem solver, to think about what are my choices here? What could I do instead? What are my options? List them. Um, and then, OK, so cross out any that you don't have control over because you can't change the teacher or the head teacher or the child that's been mean. You know, you have no control over those. So cross out the ones that you don't have any control over. Then give a score out of 10 for those options that remain and have a go with number 10, the one that you've scored 10 or 9 or whatever. Um, and bear in mind that the first thing you try may not be the thing that works, you know, so just learn from it and work through the others. Mum has to step away. Let the child be the problem solver. So you can use tapping. So mums, you can simply say, even though I really want to rescue, I'm really desperate to rescue, I love and accept myself anyway as being a good mum. I trust that he will sort this out for himself or she will sort this out for himself. Even though I'm, I'm, re I'm really upset, I can't bear to see him or her cry or be upset, breaking my heart. I know I have to leave them to it because that's better for them and I love and accept myself anyway. And then the third time, something similar, even though I've got this pain in my heart, it's maybe a blue... I really want to step in, but I must step away um, because I love them and I love and accept myself anyway. You then tap through the tapping points, top of the head. I really want to rescue. I really want to help. I'm a good mum. It's my job. That's what I'm here for. I need to rescue. I need to step in. I need to help. I need to sort this out. I have this blue in my heart, this sad feeling in my heart. I can't bear to see them upset breaking my heart I don't know what to do I, I really want to sort this out I can't be there for them all the time it's um they really need to sort this out but they can't do it on their own they need me and just tap away your own feelings about the need to rescue and just keep going and just tap through the tapping points 
on your feelings. You know, I feel really bad. I feel really sad. I wish I could help. I wish I could do this for them. I wish I could take away their pain. Just keep going until you calm down. Now, when you're calm, energised, and they can sense that you trust them, you've, you've said, I'm here for you. But tell you what, I think, you know, you know best what to do. You, you know, you know the teacher, you know the child. Think about what your options are and decide what you feel is a good thing to do. I'll be around if you want a cup of tea or a chat or whatever, but I'm leaving this up to you to sort out. That way, Rescuer has been um, a guide, a coach. I mean, this is the whole point of my book, Empower Your Kids, a coaching guide for parents. It's about how to empower your kids because once they become problem solvers, they're not in rescue, sorry, in victim. They know, all right, okay, well, last time I did this and this worked or I could do this or whatever. So um, you empower your child to step away from victim. You step away from rescuer. And great news, the persecutor steps away. So instead of maybe arguing between you about what's best to do for your child or you've got siblings saying stop babying them or, you know, you just give in too much or whatever, you all three disappear. Your drama tri triangle evaporates and you have an empowered child. So let me know if you need any help with that.